I'm cheating now. With the rice? Why not? You cheated with the sauce earlier. These pita breads, I've made them, but I don't know, they actually smell like pancakes. Oh, Tina, what's this? I have actually got some flatbreads in, just in the case that something went wrong. Plan B. With her third shortcut complete, it's ready. Curry from a jar, microwaved rice and a shop-bought flatbread. This could be interesting. So, Tina, tell me how you made this. Um... Come clean, Tina. The sauce I did actually have out of a jar again purely because of... And I know that I shouldn't be using it for... I keep saying about my leg, but obviously being on your leg for that length of time. And so it's just that literal <clears throat> little bit of sauce that I just popped in, but everything else was just all homemade. Reckon you got away with that one? Oh, I can make it. My foot again. My bad foot again. I can understand that Tina having problems with her ankle gives her some limitations, but I don't think that stops you standing there and making your own red Thai curry paste. And the jasmine rice? Jasmine rice? Repeating it. Great trick. <laughs> How is it jasmine rice as opposed <laughs> to just rice? <laughs> Enlighten me. Enlighten you. Obviously, there's fragrance and a little bit of different taste. I don't know if you... Just a little mm. bit of a pungent taste. So you've added something to it? No. So it's just... It's just, yeah, it's jasmine, jasmine rice. Barely okay. got away with the bread. So what about the, the bread, Tina? Did you make the flatbreads? Oh! From scratch today, made my own flatbreads. Did you? However... I just felt they were not up to scratch to serve oh, you. Tina. And I'd rather serve you something that was edible. I'm sure they'll understand. I'd have liked her to have brought out the other flatbreads and gone, there you go, try those guys. I wouldn't have liked to serve you those, but give them a try. If it all goes Pete Tong and she's had to like use some packet ones, well, fair play to it. I know Tina's not been to Thailand and I didn't expect that of everybody, even though I've travelled quite extensively. Ooh. But to have some of the ingredients in that curry, like slices of courgette and sugar snap peas, to me, just it just didn't work at all. With Tina's grilling over, it's time for her to ask a few questions. Who do you think is going to be the loudest this week? The loudest? I think um, you've got the loudest laugh. <laughs> good, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Reese, who do you think is going to be the best dressed? I think the prize is probably going to go to you, because I love the way You've teamed your ankle boot with a nice strappy high heel. There's two ladies on this table, isn't there? Of course. And I, I would say that I dress quite well. So, uh, game's on, Tina. Ooh. And now it's for you to prove me wrong. <coughs> uh, we shall see. I think for the spot of alpha female, there's definitely a fight on between Holly and Tina. Rob, who do you think is going to be the most competitive? Steve. <laughs> Is the silent assassin amongst us. Although you'd say he wasn't, oh. I think he is. Mm. I think he's going to come under the radar. Drop bob it. up, appear, drop the bomb, back down and away. I think what he's thinking is that I'm going to be the competition there. Um, and he's right. Rob seems to think that Steve's the silent assassin in the group, and that's great because that allows me to carry on under the radar and then pop up with my winning dishes on my night. We'll see. And it's on to dessert. Come on, Tina, this needs to be a good one. Look at those beauties. She dollops on cream berries and a scoop of her homemade lemon and honeycomb ice cream, and it's ready. I love pavlova, and I do a really good pavlova, mm. so I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this. Be nice. Your pavlova is amazing, Tina. Really, really good. Um, I would say it's on a par with mine. Oh. <laughs> Reese, you're rather quiet there. It's because I'm just eating it all up. It's a really, really nice, light dessert. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. This is magnificent. Oh, praise at last! Who do you think that I look most like? You look like Barbara Windsor. <laughs> 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 I, yeah. I wanted to say, as soon as you said it, well, there's Babs. There's yeah. Babs. There's Babs, yeah. isn't <laughs> yeah. Holly, I think you've got an element of Martine McCutcheon about oh. you. Totally agree with that Do one. You? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, maybe we could be on EastEnders together, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> You'd run the old Vic, couldn't you? <laughs> or even the Queen Vic. 
I think he's got an element of Alan Sugar about him. <laughs> I know what's coming next. You're fired. <laughs> yep, taxi! Tina's um, hosting tonight. She was warm, welcoming. She was Babs Windsor through and through tonight. The dessert was really, really good, really nice. The ice cream was lush. That ice cream was like the bomb. Tonight, we had a confused cheesy crab starter, chicken curry out of a jar, but a really good dessert, which pulled it back from the brink. So for that reason, I'm going to score Tina a six. I'm going to score Tina a <laughs> six. Tonight, I'm going to score Tina a six. The dishes were brilliant, so I'm going to give Tina a eight. So Tina won't be laughing all the way to the bank just yet, with a disappointing score of 26 out of 40.